It's Wednesday. Today is actually, today's a, a great day because it's the day where I don't have like anything on my schedule at all. And I like that. So I'm starting my day off by having lunch with Brandon, who can eat tomatoes. Yeah. And is over here to help me eat tomatoes. I mean, that, there's, there's a, tomato a tomato in there. In there. <laughs> I was like, it's just a, <laughs> it's just a pile of grass. <laughs> yeah. No, um, there's a tomato. The tomatoes are better than they should be. They're extremely good. Like, the big ones, the, I think they're called Cherokee Purples. I can't remember the name of all the tomatoes. Those are so good. They're really good. So me and Brandon each had a sandwich. This is the end of my, my first sandwich. I'm about to get a second sandwich underway. Um, it's so good. I just did up the bacon. Um, when I made BLTs the other day with Alex and Haley, the, the bacon didn't get crispy enough for my liking. Today it's like super crispy. Although I did the first tray and it took like 25 minutes and it was perfect. I was like, cool, 25 minutes. So then I put the next tray in for 24 minutes and it came out and it was black. And I was like, okay. So I guess the oven, even though it had beeped for the, the preheat, like it wasn't up to full temp or something. I don't know. I'm not sure how it they works. They call it all whistly, not all reliable. No, it's, and maybe the whistling is part of the reason that it, yeah. that it sucks. Maybe it's, it's a cry for help. Anyway, uh, I talked about it a little bit yesterday, but today I'm going to try and clean as much of the house as possible. Mal gets home tomorrow night, and um, I'm going to make, since I don't have any, like, streams or anything going on today, I'm going to try and make a dent in the cleaning, so we'll see how far I get. You willing to help? You're willing to, like, do the opposite of help. He will clean his food dish. Hi. Or is that, or is that you saying, yes, you'll help? <laughs> Today's harvest, goodness. There was also um, two full-size, well, something bad happened. There's something bad that happened. There's one tomato that was ready that I was trying to get off the vine and uh, connected to it in, like, it's hard to explain. I should have filmed it before I tried to get it. The vine was wrapped around the entire tomato, which was also attached to the wire for the, the thing that was holding the tomato plant up. And then that was attached to another tomato. And I was like, cool. And when I grabbed the tomato to get it off the vine, this one, which was attached at the end, fell off. And I'm like, piss. So I'm putting it in the window and I'm hoping, I'm, I'm hoping that it ripens, that it experiences ripening. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. It happens quick though. Like they go from green to like red pretty quick, so. Yeah, but I did get one. The one that I pulled off ended up being, um, uh, had some rot. And uh, there was another two big tomatoes that had some rot. And I was like, crap. So I got rid of those. But still got another tomato. And then maybe if the green one turns, hopefully it will. Um, no zucchini today, but I got all these. And then these are, f these are what's left, I think, from yesterday. Brandon took some. And then these are from... Uh, before that, you can tell that these are the oldest ones because all of these are like perfectly red. Some of these are orange. Again, it might be hard to tell on video, so you have to take my word for it. But these are all red, and uh, more importantly, the yellow ones. It's kind. Of, it's a little. You can t kind of tell the difference. Like these are after I've uh, pulled them, they're still a little. This is like a tad green, and then they become this after a day, and then after two days, they're they're this. And I got to tell you, man, these are. The sweetest stinking tomato. They're so good. There's not as many as the other ones. But man, they're good. They're so good. They're so good. Anyway. What was I doing? Oh yeah, cleaning the house. We are at the Mitchell Park Domes, which is like a staple of my childhood, and it's one of my favorite places in the world. Yeah, this is, I know they look really, really cool when they're fully full of all the berries. So I remember seeing it in the winter. Shocks. <laughs> 
I'm like, oh my oh, god. Oh no, my I face. Not look like that. So I have some lithops that I'm growing at home. Uh -huh. It's this, this one, and this one. And then, like, let's see, this guy's one of them. And this guy here is one of them. They're super cool plants. This prism cactus is cool. And I had no idea ponytail palms actually got this big. Oh my god, this thing is huge. So this one was always my favorite as a kid. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Why? Look at it. It's right. tropical. It was always super warm in the winter. Oh. And it was just way, way, way more busy, and there's like water features, and I always liked this one a lot. There's actually cocoa beans. You can kind of see one, let's see, right there, hanging off the tree. Okay, so I only grow foul orchids, but this one is a different type. And I want to say it's an Oncidium, maybe? But it's so pretty. Look at this purple. Look at that. Gorgeous. And this thing, look at these flowers. These are unique. Oh, wow. I don't know what that is. But there's a lot of orchids behind us. So, like, these are the orchids I grow, right? These fowls. And this, this is a lady slipper kind, I think. And this is, oh, are these on Sidium? I forget. But these ones look like this. They're a little dried out. And then there's this kind. And then the kind behind us. Just kidding, I found more. These ones are super rare and super cool looking. And there's these guys. I always like the look of these ones. And there's these orchids. And those yellow ones back there. Cool. And there's a grapefruit tree. And there's bananas. And some mimosa. There's a dinosaur exhibit going on. This thing has flowers, and they grow out of the bottom. This is a corpse flower, and it's supposed to be blooming any day now, apparently. So this is Cops Frozen Custard, which is um, a Milwaukee thing, and I'm pretty sure they close in the winter. And I'm also like 99% sure I've never actually eaten here or had custard, but um, it's one of my aunt's favorite places. I, uh, I couldn't find the handle that went with the mop head. I feel dumb, but um, this is effective. I might be in a little pain tomorrow, but it's uh, you know probably good exercise. Okay, I might get in trouble for saying this, but this is better than Culver's. Oh my god, I'm done. I have spent the whole day cleaning the house. Um. I had lunch with Brandon, obviously, and um, I told myself I was allowed to do a little bit of work this morning, so I did. And otherwise, that was it. I stayed true to that. I, I just cleaned the house. And there's a few reasons to clean the house. For one, it's nice to clean the house. It's nice to make the house feel clean. It's also nice, I think, um, to be able to give that to Mal. Mal's been away, and the house wasn't really super, super messy before she left. But there's a few things that I knew that I could, I could do that would 
help. And so I did them. Um, I cleaned the entire upstairs. Like I vacuumed everything. I cleaned Kepler's bathroom head to toe because it needed cleaned. Um, I swept downstairs and then also did the floors. So the floors will be as clean as possible. I also did the stairs. Um, and then actually, I think one of the things that's going to be the most beneficial, the thing that I think Mal is going to notice immediately, well, aside from the fact that everything's super clean, is uh, I, I took care of a bunch of boxes that Mal and I had just not unpacked. There was a lot of stuff, and it, it, it's stuff that we don't show all the time, but like we had a box over here. We had a box like over here. I had several boxes in my office. Um, I do still have a box left in there, but that one's too hard to deal with today. Uh, there was multiple boxes, like five in our bedroom, and they're all dealt with, all of them. I found spots for everything. I put everything away. Um, there was stuff that required some executive decision making. I made those decisions. I broke down all the boxes, put all that stuff into recycling, um, basically took care of as, as much as I could take care of. So in addition to things being clean, the, I think the greatest gift I will have been able to give is the fact that like all of the stuff that, cause we, we, we were really hitting it hard when we moved in. We really were like, we were like unpacking and getting stuff done. We owe so much of that to our local friends who have helped us do that. And then we just kind of like er, stopped. And we were almost there. Like we had a lot of stuff that was almost done, but like we just stopped and, and it's reasonable. There's a lot of stuff going on. We're trying to get back into the swing of work and like do stuff. So like, I understand why we stopped dealing with it, but it still needed to be dealt with. And it required a large amount of executive function to be able to not just walk by it every day. Cause there was like boxes full of stuff, but I did it and it's done. And it's all put away. It's not moved to another location which is a problem, I think, for everyone from time to time is you're like, ah, this doesn't belong here. And you're like, I don't want it here. So instead of finding a permanent home, I will move it to a location that bugs me less. I didn't do that today. So everything is dealt with. And um, I, I am remarkably exhausted. Like, I was exhausted yesterday. I've been exhausted going out to the garden every day because it takes like an hour. I am so exhausted. I need a shower so bad. I am disgusting. Um, but stuff is clean and I feel good. And I'm excited for Mal to get home tomorrow. She's probably not going to be able to appreciate it too much because she her flight gets in super late. So she's going to get home and be like really tired and want to go straight to bed. But as she's walking upstairs, she'll be like, oh man, is the house clean? And I'll be like, yes, it is. And also... All the crap that has been everywhere that we hadn't put away is put away. And that's, that's the best feeling. Anyway, um, I need a shower. Now I need to go to bed. Uh, tomorrow's record stream. And also I'm doing a solo stream tomorrow. Uh, unless something changes. Unless I'm like, wait, I can't move my body. Um, so yeah. And of course, Mal gets home tomorrow. I'm very excited. Thanks for watching. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? Oh my god. My eczema is very bad. <laughs> it's all the cleaning. <laughs>